Okay, so for those who are familiar with the Five Pillars of Fate information, who have read the articles on HNSky.com, or who have uh, downloaded the first chapter of, of the soon-to-be book about the Five uh, Pillars of Fate, or book on the Five Pillars of Fate, I thought it would be a good idea to have these little breakdown visual aid uh, sessions and uh, podcasts or whatever. And so I thought I would talk today about the fi the part of fortune or the lot of fortune. So this material comes from Vedius Valens, the anthology, and Vedius Valens is, is a second century astrologer. Uh, and specifically, I was attracted to this information when I started reading it because there seemed to be a, a very concrete method for delineating fame in the chart. So I followed this material down the line and worked with it with all of my charts that I worked with, you know, with my own clients and with famous people, etc. And started to see patterns and started to see that definitely as far as finding fame in a chart, it was near inf infallible. The, I mean, that it was, this technique definitely works. But as I got further into it, I started to see that this technique also shows you the level of, or the nature of a person's fate and fortune and I really consider fate and fortune to be kind of intertwined uh, definition uh, as far as their definition is concerned because fortune is contained within fate the fate is what you're given right and the fortune is how much you get um, and actually the the my favorite definition of fate is fate is a principle of binding apportionment is the cosmic principle of binding apportionment and apportionment meaning the portion you're given so the fate aspect is that to which you are bound what you are bound to and the uh, apportionment is your fortune it's what you, the portion that you receive is what your fortune represents so looking at charts in this manner all of a sudden stripped a lot of things and also because you're using five very specific planetary uh, combinations for each chart um, showed kind of hidden dimensions of the chart that you wouldn't normally see and uh, so I once again five pillars of fate lot of fortune, lot of spirit, lot of basis are three lots, the place of exaltation and the place of acquisition. So the most important information that I received or the most important kind of foundation of this technique or fundamental of this technique is that the lot of fortune is an ascendant is actually instead of just this weird point the lot of fortune is an ascendant now I've been studying astrology for a long time and I've been studying a, um, traditional astrology for a long time and the lot of fortune or part of fortune has always been kind of this shadowy thing everybody has it had its own way of looking at it um, Lily does it one way some 20th century person I mean, you know Goldsmith Jacobson does it another way you know just it, nobody really seemed to have a strong uh, hold on what it can do. I mean, Zoller came the closest as far as I was concerned until I discovered this. Um, and what I learned is that, like I said, it's an ascendant and that n not only is it was it used in this way in the second century, but some of the oldest some of the oldest information that we actually have from the ancient Egyptian period um, talks about this and that this is this is the way another way of looking at the chart which if you're interested in Vedic astrology would would not be surprising at all so um, as a result of the part of fortune or lot of fortune being considered another ascendant that means it carries with it the same significations that the ascendant does so here's our radical ascendant here right and here's our lot of fortune the circle with the with the cross inside so the ascendant it represents three uh, latin terms vitae which is life corpus which is body and ingenium which is talent okay so vitae health a person's health uh, ability it's called the the house of life so there's a house of life and a house of death in the uh, in the ancient realm of the or within the ancient realm so house of life is the first house so that represents the person's health and vitality house of the body because it's that which is visible right because the ascendant rises over the horizon 
eyes and so it becomes it becomes visible so the body and how we look what we look like and so what we look like conditions with our body and then in gainium which represents talent or inherent ability or inclination so those are kind of the major things but it has to do with the physical vehicle very specifically with the physical vehicle the health and vitality of the physical vehicle and what it looks like that's one of the very main 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 things about the um, ascendant so I wanted to kind of look at a chart and kind of give a little example of this and like I said I didn't want I don't want to go anything really huge but we can do that here with Kurt Cobain so the ascendant here is Virgo and um, first let's look at how to find the lot of fortune the lot of fortune is taken by day to f because we changed the formula for nighttime and that's one of the confusions that was happening before the lot of fortune is take by day is found by taking the distance from the Sun to the moon and by night taking the distance from the moon to the Sun okay so once again by day you take the distance from the Sun to the moon by night you take the distance from the from the moon to the Sun so how do you find out if a chart is a daytime chart or a nighttime chart? Well, if the sun is below the horizon, which it is, this is below, this is the horizon line. So if the sun is below the horizon, then you, then you have a nighttime chart. If it's above the horizon, you have a daytime chart. In this chart, the sun is below the horizon. So this is Kurt Cobain, very, very famous rock and roll star um, who uh, died of an over, oh, maybe he killed himself. I think he killed, I think he did die of suicide. Um, Anyway, so here we are with Kurt Cobain. Let's actually take his chart and see if we can find where things are. So it's a nighttime chart. That means we take the distance from the moon to the sun. The moon is at 13 Cancer. The sun is at one degree of Pisces. So that means I would go back 120 degrees and another 12 degrees. Whatever, di whatever distance you find between the sun and the moon, you project from the ascendant in whichever direction you went. I went from moon to sun. I went backwards against the signs. I would do that same thing here. Virgo to Taurus to 20 degrees of Taurus. Back 12 would bring me to 8 degrees of Taurus. So this is how you find um <coughs> this is how you would go about finding your nighttime lot of fortune. We'll stick with that for now. So, uh one of the interesting things about this chart is or one of the things we were talking about or wanted to show as an example was okay, it represents the same thing that the ascendant does. The ascendant rules the body, right? So, one of the things that's important to know about Kurt Cobain's life is that he suffered from chronic, from the time that he was a very young child, suffered from chronic bronchitis, throat, really terrible throat ailments. He also had stomach problems, but throat ailments was one of the major um, medically diagnosed issues that takes him throughout his life. And uh, so I just wanted to kind of look at that because here we have the lot of fortune in the sign of Taurus. Taurus rules the throat. Also we have Venus, the ruler of Taurus. Here she is in Pisces, which is her exaltation. But she's in conjunction to Saturn, Saturn who is known to lame things and to make things work, not work, right? So Saturn would represent the impediment or the blockage or the difficulty. In this case, Saturn is the ruler of the sixth house, which is the house of illnesses. So this is the house of life and vitality. The sixth house is the house of illnesses. So here we have the ruler of the ascendant or the of the rather the lot of fortune with the ruler of the lot of fortune with this. Saturn. Also, if we look from the from the ascendant, right here's our ascendant. We know that by house, the ascendant rules the head. The second house rules the throat. The second house is the cusp on the cusp of the second is Libra, which is also ruled by Venus. And so we have the throat in both situations. We have the sign that represents the throat, and the second house, which also represents the throat. The ruler of which is with this sixth house ruler, the ruler ruler of the infirmities of what type of, of infirmities this person would have and uh, there it is with Saturn okay so I thought I would just do a short
short little thing like that and uh, we'll continue with the lot of fortune next time and with the lot of spirit thanks so much